Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the Future Programmer YouTube channel. Today's Java Basics video is going to be a walkthrough of a number guessing game written in Java programming. You will be using control flow, so conditional statements and loops to accomplish this program. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so before we get started writing this number guessing game in Java, let's first think about what we want our game to eventually look like. Now, if you aren't familiar with a number guessing game, the one that I will be making in this video is going to have one player. It's going to have one player guessing a random number from another person. So let's say that you and I, we're playing a number guessing game and you're the player. So I will come up with a random number, let's say six. In an actual game, I wouldn't tell you that it's six, but since we're just pretending, I'll just tell you it's six. So you're going to first start off guessing this number. You might say it's five, and I'll tell you that is incorrect, and that five is actually too low. Knowing that, you might guess higher. So let's say you guessed seven, and then I'll tell you that seven is actually too high. In that case, you know that it's going to be between five and seven and you'll get six. And I'll tell you that six is indeed correct. So that's going to be how our game is going to look like when we finish this program. Think about what we want to use as the control flow structure to continuously do the repetition of asking for another guess and then checking is this guess too high, too low, or is it correct? Now we want to use a while loop, right? So that's kind of the main structure of this game. Now before we get to that, let's first import the things that we need or the thing that we need, which is going to be import java.util.scanner. And we'll be using scanner class to get the inputs from the user. All right, so let's make a class. So let's write public class main and we want to write the main method here oops like this so this is kind of boilerplate code that you'll always write when you want to run, uh, run programs on replit which today have for some reason doesn't have color highlighting anymore but we'll address that problem later so this is going to be our starter code what do we want to do in here now, firstly, we want to make a new scanner object called SC, which is equal to a new scanner passing in, oops, passing in system.in. The first thing we want to do is to generate the random number. And then we will use this random number to have the player guess this number. So let's make a num called int num. And this will be equal to int math.random times. Now, in this game, I will be making this number in a range of 1 to 10. You can feel free to make this number in whatever range you would like. Uh, but I'm just going to write times 10 plus 1. If you want to review on how random numbers work, feel free to check out my video on random numbers and other math related topics in an earlier video of this course. And then let's just declare a few more variables. So let's declare a variable called guess, which is what we'll use to store the values that the user inputs. And just for fun, let's also limit the number of guesses that the user has to, let's say, three. So let's just make a variable called num guesses, which is the number of guesses left. To start off, let's make it three. So when the game starts, the player has three guesses. Now comes the while loop, which is how we can continuously cycle through the process of asking for a new input and then evaluating that input and then telling the player is the input too high or too low or correct. So let's make a while loop. And in this while loop, we want our condition to be while the num guesses is greater than zero. So while the user has guesses left, we will do some stuff. And in this case, let's just first 
let's say we print out guess a number between 1 and 10. So we print out this prompt, and then we want to grab that input, whatever the user has entered, into our variable guess. So let's write guess is equal to sc.nextInt. Like this. Now we want to compare the guess and the actual correct number to see if that is correct. So let's take a look at how we can do that. We want to have an if statement, right? We want to have a few different things we want to check. So if the guess is correct, first and foremost, if that's correct, we want to just end this round of number guessing because the user has gotten the number correctly. We'll tell them that. So if guess, which is what the user has entered right here, if this is equal to num, which is the correct number, if these two things are equal, We'll just print out congratulations you got the number which is and we can just add num here now if we just have the code like this we won't exit this round of number guessing so we will continue to run the while loop but because we have already gotten the correct number or the player has we want to print this out and then we want to exit this while loop. So we can do that by writing break like this. So this addresses when guess is equal to number. So if the user has gotten the correct number, we also want to check else if the guess that the user has inputted is less than the correct number. We want to print out too low. And otherwise, let's just print out too high. So right now we're able to evaluate whether the guess is equal to the number or too low or too high. But we haven't really made a way to get out of this loop other than to get the number correctly because our num guesses is greater than zero. This condition will always be, tr be true because num guesses will always be three. So how can we change this condition to false after a few rounds of playing this game. Well, we can just write num guesses minus minus. This is going to decrement num guesses each time we run this loop. So after the first time we run this loop, if this is not true, so if this didn't break the loop, then we would come down here and num guesses will be two, and then it will be one, and then it will be zero, and then the while loops condition will become false and we will exit the loop. Now, let's also print out a message to the user if they don't have any chances left. So let's just print out if num guesses is equal to zero. So if they used up all their guesses, we'll print out you ran out of guesses, the number is or was, I suppose, none, like this. So this is pretty much all we need to write a fully functioning number guessing game in Java. Let's take a look at how we can run this in Replit. So let's copy the code into our online editor. Even though the color syntax is entirely gone right now, that's fine, we already wrote the code in Sublime Text. So we can just use Replit as a tool to run this program. If I run this program, we can see guess a number between 1 and 10. So I can guess, let's say, 5. And I don't know this number because, well, it's entirely randomly generated by the math.random method. So I'm just going to guess 5. And it will tell me that it is actually too high. Let's try 3 and it's too low. I believe that means it is going to be 4. And we see, congratulations, you got the number, which is 4. We can run it again and see a possibly a different random number generated this time. So if I keep guessing three, many times, or just three times, I suppose, it will tell me that you ran out of guesses, the number was five. So we have a fully working number guessing game use, uh, written using Java. Feel free to customize this game to your imagination or create creativity. Um, there's a lot that we can improve, for example, we can allow the user to input the range of numbers they want to guess. 
we can also make the num guesses dependent upon the range of the random number. So if the random number is in a range of 1 to 1,000, perhaps we want a wider or a larger number of guesses for the player to use. But this is kind of a starter template for a basic number guessing game in Java. And there you have it, a complete number guessing game written in Java programming. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel down below. With that said, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.